This is coming to you from John Wayne's 26 Bar Ranch in Eager, Arizona. My name is William T. Brooks. I was born in Phoenix, Arizona in 1931. But most people just call me Chili Bill. Howdy, partners. Welcome to another edition of Chili Bill's Kitchen. Coming to you from the ranch today again. And today we're going to be uh, cooking up something that uh, we haven't been doing too much of here on Chili Bill's Kitchen. We're going to cook up a couple of Spanish or Mexican type of casserole dishes. Uh, I think that you'll thoroughly enjoy it. We're going to be using uh, equipment that we uh, sometimes don't use too much of here on Chili Bill's Kitchen. We're going to be using the microwave today. Uh, we're going to be... Uh, making up a, uh, a form of uh, Mexican meatloaf. It's a little bit different than what you're probably used to. And we're going to be making up a Francis's corn pie. I think you're going to like it. It's made with uh, green chilies. And uh, it's um, quite spicy, but uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. We'll be back in just a minute. Don't go away. Somebody stole my caballo. Don't I know you from some place? I'm Chili Bill, and we're doing a Man on the Range interview. And I would like for you to try some of this. Smells like chili. That's Chili Bill's championship chili. You'll find that recipe and many more in If You Like It Hot. Town send for it. See? Well, as you can see, I'm using a recipe book today. Um, I'm going to use it for the basic recipe for the uh, meatloaf. This is called Mexican meatloaf, and it's uh, quite spicy. And I'll use a basic recipe uh, for a, a good meatloaf, and then I'm going to show you how to add the other ingredients to make it the Mexican meatloaf. First thing we're going to have to do is I've got to go get some meat over here out of the refrigerator. And we're using... Um, ground chuck today and uh, I don't like to use you know too fat of meat when you're making up meatloaf you need to uh, you know you need to uh, use a halfway decent meat because if you don't then the fat rises to the top and it doesn't look too good and it uh, you know it's not too good for the la panza so today we're using a nice lean cut of, um, of uh, ground chuck this is ground chuck today and all I'm going to do is here, I'm going to use my old bean pot here as the mixing bowl. I'm going to put that in here, break it up a little bit here. And we'll, I, ha I have um, a pound and a half is what I have here. So, you know, if you want to make a bigger one, uh, you can uh, double up on it. But uh, today we're using a pound and a half. That makes a pretty nice size when you can serve about four to six people with uh, this meatloaf this way. Okay, let me get this a little bit more here. Now remember, this is a pound and a half of meat. I'll break this up just a little bit here. Okay. Just one more second here, and I'll get into the next ingredients. And the next thing we're going to have to do is to um, put in, let's see, it says over here I've got to uh, put in two eggs. I've got my two eggs right here. Uh, the eggs, you know, that, that's kind of your, uh, your glue. It kind of sticks the thing together when it cooks. So we're going to put in two eggs. Put them right in there like that. And one more right here. And let's see, the next thing we've got to do, let me get rid of that, put it over there, there we go. The next thing we have to do is I've got to uh, make up some, uh, some uh, crumbs to go in here. Now, if you're using, uh, normally if you're doing a uh, regular meatloaf, uh, you know, you're using either cracker crumb, crumbs or uh, real fine breadcrumbs. Today, we're going to use some uh, uh, corn chips. 
Now, you know, you can make up your own corn chips, or if you um, uh, don't want to go to that much trouble, then what you do is just buy a good brand of corn chips. Now, let me reach back here for old bust head. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to break them up. There we go. Just break them up nice. Well, that's shaking that up nice. There we go. We want them fairly fine. There we go. Oh, the sound man's really liking that, I bet you. All right, here we go. That should be enough there. Let's see. What do I need? I need, um, I think I need uh, breadcrumbs. I need a quarter of a cup. Uh, these are not breadcrumbs. These are chips. So we're going to put in about a quarter of a cup. That looks like a quarter of a cup right there. That's all we need of those. I've got enough here for two or three more. All right, the next thing I need, let's see, I need um, an onion. Let's see, I've got it hiding over here. All right, we're gonna cut this. This is a, uh, a small onion. This isn't a large onion, so it's what we're gonna do is just take a small onion. I like to peel off that, uh, that outer layer like that. See, it comes right off if you do it properly. And what we do then, I'll just cut it in half like this, and we're just gonna finally chop that onion up. Let's move this over here like that. There we go, okay. Now I've got some room to work. There we go. We're gonna finally chop that onion up. Just get it over in a pile here, and just chop it up real good. Boy, that one's not too bad today. Normally, you know, I'm crying by now with these onions. I've tried every method I know. The best I've ever found is uh, put them in the freezer, and uh, just before they freeze, then uh, you want to go ahead and cut them up then. You don't get the juices out of the onion then, if you do it that way. Here, I think we've just about got that just about right. Okay, now, I can't find my scraper today. I, let's see here. thought I had it here somewhere, but I'll find it during the break here. I'll just have to use my hands, okay? What we'll do is I'll just add the onions in there. There we go. Now I'm getting the onions. Now I'm getting the onions. Okay, well, you shouldn't do this with a knife, but I'm going to cheat just a little bit today. There we go. Okay, what's the next thing we've got to have here? I've got to have um, some uh, Worcestershire sauce. And I think I pronounced that right. I'm sure not. Did. Okay, see there? I'm practicing. I've got to go over here and get some of it. Here we go. All right, whoop. Onions got me. And we need, um, let's see here, we need two tablespoons. Wish there sauce. I didn't do it that time. Okay, two tablespoons here. One. Two. Okay. Now the next ingredient. Now remember, this is the basic uh, meatloaf that we're making now. And then we're going to add the other ingredients to it. Okay, the next thing I need is um, some black pepper. I know I've got some black pepper here someplace. What'd I do with that darn black pepper? Hold on just a second. I'll find that black pepper. And there we are right here. Okay, we're going to put in, uh, what I'm going to do now is just put in a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to put in a quarter of a tea, quarter of a teaspoon? No, one quarter of a teaspoon. There we go, right there. All right. Now, that is the basic um, meatloaf. Now we're going to add in some of the other spices here. Uh, first of all, we're going to add in uh, some oregano. Oreg Wait a minute, hold on just a second. Uh, I forgot my, my bell pepper. Let's do the bell pepper here. I get the insides out of it like that. And we're going to use about, oh, we'll use about half of this bell pepper. And let me get this stuff out of the way. And what I'll do here is I'll just cut up the bell pepper in strips first, like this. There we go. Now, just turn the strips around. And we're going to dice them. Just, just go ahead and dice those bell peppers up. Uh, you know, you might want to try to make them real fine if you want to, but uh, um, it doesn't really make any difference. It has great flavor. Bell pepper has a great flavor, uh, and it is a type of chili. You know, bell pepper is a type of chili, but it's very mild. And they come in two colors, red and green. First they're green, then they turn to red. They have about the same flavor, uh, you know, the reds and the green. All right, let's uh, get this in here. There we go. Well, my pot's filling up now. We're going to have plenty of room, though, I think, on that. Uh, let's see. 
Now what do we have going in there next? Oh yes, yeah, we have to have the good old chili powder, okay? So I'm gonna put in two nice big tablespoons of chili powder. One and two. Two nice big tablespoons of chili powder. All right, let's see. I think we've got everything in there except the spices. We're gonna put in some um, MSG. You know, you've seen me use the MSG before. Uh, some people like to use it, some people don't like to use it. Uh, it's a, a taste enhancer, but if you uh, have anything against it, just don't use it, that's all. Let's put in a half of a teaspoon of MSG, monosodium glutamate. All right, and we need um, oregano, oregano or oregano, depending on how you want to pronounce it, the English pronunciation or the Spanish. And we're going to put in to that, we're going to put in one teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon of oregano. Boy, I've got to fill these bottles up. I'm just almost down to the point where I don't have too much left in here. Now, cilantro. Remember cilantro? Cilantro is uh, the same thing as coriander. Uh, the Mexican people call it, uh, um, the Mexican people call it uh, cilantro and the English call it coriander. All right, put in that. Now, uh, I've got one more ingredient that I have to do here. Let's see if I can find it real quick. And what we'll do, well, darn lid went in there. Well, I'll get that out later. Now, what we're gonna do now is I keep a stock of these and I use them when I mix my meatloafs. I uh, kind of uh, get purloin these from my brother-in-law that's a doctor. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna really mix this up real well. All this does, of course, is keeps your hands from getting too greasy and so forth. I'm gonna mix this up real good here. And when we come back here, you know, you know about a minute or so, we'll get this going into the microwave and uh, then we'll start on the other uh, dish that we're gonna do today, which is Francis corn pie. Be right back. Caramba, somebody stole my caballo. Nobody stole your caballo, Tomato. He took off and became a lawyer after tasting Chili Bill's famous championship chili. Don't I know you from some place? I'm Chili Bill, and we're doing a Man on the Range interview to find out how many of you good folks out there like your chili hot and spicy. That's the way I like mine. Plenty of hot stuff in it to keep my mustacho curled. Here, Tomato. Try some of this and become a lawyer, too. Smells like chili. Hey, you're getting smarter already, Tomato. Good chili. Of course it's good. It's Chili Bill's Chili. And those of you who like it hot and spicy can enjoy all those good recipes you've seen Chili Bill and his guests cook on Chili Bill's Kitchen Show by going to your local trading post or bookstore and picking up a copy of his famous recipe book, If You Like It Hot. See? Or you can order it direct by sending your money order. Well, we're still mixing up this concoction here. I did forget to put some things in. We're gonna have to really roll now because um, of the fact that uh, I've got to make this other dish for you here. What we're gonna do is I have to put in my old uh, firecracker, you know. This is the uh, uh, ground up jalapeno. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of jalapeno. That's just ground up. I do this in the, uh, I take the whole jalapenos and then I put them in the blender. And it usually runs my wife out of the house when I do it because, you know, it gets in the air and floats around. Okay, and what else we're going to need is um, some shoyu, or as most people know it, soy sauce. Uh, this is shoyu. Uh, I usually use a very good brand of uh, the best I can find. I need two tablespoons of the shoyu or soy sauce. Now, for those, uh, you know, that want to use some salt, we use a little bit of salt, too. Uh, if you want to cut down on your salt, uh, just leave it out. It, uh, the uh, uh, soy sauce 
has salt in it also. Let me just mix this up real good here. I think we've got everything on it. Yeah, everything's in. And what I need now is I'll get me a plate here. I'll get a plate. And uh, what I need to do is with the plate is I need, to, um, I need to get a little bit of oil on the plate. Just a little bit of oil here. See if I can keep this off of me. There we go. Just a little bit of oil in there. Just, you know, kind of keep it from sticking on the bottom. That's all we're trying to do with the oil. Just kind of run that around the bottom of that plate like that. There we go. Okay, now we can really get our hands into it. Uh, oh, what did I do? I forgot to put the celery in. Here's the celery. i got to put the celery in. Hold on. Don't go away here. I'm not getting everything together today. Let me get that celery in there real quick. There we go. i got the celery in, and I'll mix it up real good. Now, we're going to make a great big ball out of this and uh, shape it into a ball, and then we're going to cook it in the microwave. That should be pretty good, just about like that. I think we've got it pretty well mixed now. And this will be pretty spicy, you know. You've got that jalapeno pepper in there. You've got the um, chili peppers in there. And then all that good Mexican spice that we put in there. Now what we're going to do is, let me get this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to take it out. Now. There we go. There we go. Now. Make me a nice big ball of it here. Make sure we've got everything in it. There we go. Nice big old ball. See if I can get it up now. There we go. All right. Put that right there. We'll shape that thing down to fit in there properly. Like that. Pat it down. I guess my operation's over now, so I can, I can take off my operating gloves here. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to top that off with a hot sauce. This is good old Chili Bill's hot sauce. Now, some people may want to put some, um, I know people who put... Um, uh, tomato uh, paste. I know people that put um, um, ketchup on it. You make your own hot sauce. This just happens to be my hot sauce. I'm going to top it off with the hot sauce. Like that. There we go. Now, this is going to be spicy, you know. After all, that's what all this show is all about. Now we're going to top it off with a little bit of green peppers. Bell peppers. You know, I, I saved a little bit back. A little bit of bell pepper back. I'm going to put just a little bit of, of celery up there with it. It gives it that nice green and red color. And then I'm going to top it off with just a little bit of chopped olives. Just a little bit of chopped olives, like that. Now what we're going to do, I'll run right over here and we're going to put it into the microwave. And we're going to cook this at, uh, we're going to cook it for 15 minutes. And needless to say, we're not going to make it in this segment, but we're going to cook it for 15 minutes on high power. We're going to stop it and check it about halfway through. Okay? There we go. That's the wrong thing. Let me knock that off here. There we go. Reset. Right there. We need uh, 15. One. There we go. That should do it. All right. Now. Okay. We've got that going. Now, let's get into the next uh, dish we're going to do here. Let me get this cleared up real quick. We'll do the next dish here. All right. Next thing we're going to do is Francis's corn pie. Now, to make the uh, corn pie, what we're going to need are two cans of cream-style corn. And we're going to need... That's two cans of cream-style corn. And we're going to need two small cans of chopped green chilies. Chopped green chilies. These happen to be uh, one of the better brands. You can, you can hunt around sometimes and get some less expensive ones. All right. Now we're going to need, uh, I've got that. Now we need to add the black olives. We're going to put in two cans of chopped black olives. Just like that. All right, now to that we're going to put in two cups, two cups of um, cheese. And this has been grated, 
and your two cups of cheese, you can use a white cheese if you want to, like a Monterey Jack or one of those. I kind of like the, the um, uh, Longhorn cheese. Put that in there like that. And I'm going to give it a little stir. You can see this is pretty simple. Boy, does this stuff freeze well, too. It's, uh, it's easy to handle, and it freezes well. Now all i got to do is find me something to stir with. I know I have something around here. There we go. Okay, we're going to stir this all up. I think I have everything in there. Stir this all up. Like that. Okay. Hold on a minute. I'll get it stirred up in a second here. I should have put this in a mixing bowl, but I was trying to save uh, washing dishes today, I guess. So we just stir all of this up. You might want to put a little salt in it, but remember some of this stuff already has the salt in it, so uh, you might not want to, uh, to uh, get too much salt on it. Now we're going to do a similar thing to this. When I get this done here, there we go. We're getting pretty close to having it uh, go. Oh my goodness, I forgot. It wouldn't even hold together. It wouldn't even hold together if I didn't put this in. Okay, we got to put this in. We're going to need, uh, we're going to need a uh, uh, half a cup of, uh, this is plain old corn meal. And I like to use the yellow corn meal. We're going to put in a half a cup of it. Now where's my, half, my uh, cup measure here? Let's see, these are, uh, these are four ounces. That's it. There we go. Just like that. All right. We'll give that a little stir. Mix that all up in there, and that's going to begin to make it a little firm, too. And uh, then we're going to cook this. We're going to cook this when that one comes out there. We're going to go ahead and cook this one uh, for uh, 10 minutes on 100% or full power. And uh, it should be done. And then when, it's, when it comes out, what you have to do is you have to uh, let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then when you serve it, it'll, it'll be uh, very firm. So this has to set. Don't try to cut it when you take it right straight out of the oven because if you do that, you're going to find out that it's just going to fall apart on you. Okay, we're going to take a little break. We'll be right back in a minute. We're going to try some of this food. Don't go away. Oh, howdy, partners. This is old Chili Bill. Just want to remind you, we're going to be coming your way every Saturday right here on KUSK. We're going to be cooking up all those great foods of the Southwest. Enchiladas, tacos, burros, guacamole, barbecue. We sure don't want you to miss any of it. So stay tuned right here on KUSK. Till then, adios. Well, we're back. I think we made it. Uh, I had to finish up some of the cooking on the corn pie, but um, what I did is I topped it off with um, some um, hot sauce, naturally. Put a little bit of hot sauce on top of it. I put, the, uh, I put a little bit of celery. I cut some fine celery and put it on top. And we cooked it for 25 minutes at 100% at, um, power in the microwave and uh, uh, we turned it. We turned it at least twice during the cooking cycle. You have to turn the tray around. Okay, here's our, here's our, um, our um, nice meat here, and here's our corn pie here, and uh, I think I'm going to have to dip in here and try some of it. Uh, better get somebody to, to uh, come in here with me. Hey, hey, Shane, come on in here. Shane here is, um, she's our um, apprentice, and she's uh, from the local high school, and she's uh, uh, learning how to uh, do the equipment here in the studio. And uh, right now she's working on the marker that we use in, uh, when we're shooting television. Have you ever had any um, food like this before, Shane? Never. You never had any like this? I've had regular meatloaf, but not Mexican meatloaf. Not and Mexican. I'm dying to try this. I think it's going to be great. Do you like hot food? love hot food. You do like hot food. Well, yeah. let's cut in here and see what we've got. Uh, let's see, I'll cut you a nice slice here. You got, yeah, yeah there's a, there we, go. there we go. I'll cut you a nice slice here and we'll put this slice on here 
and I'm going to give her a little bit of this. We've run out of time. We'll see you next time. Adios. Okay.